friends, it's Lisa Hetrick from Indigo Jade Art, and I'm super excited to join you today to share this fun color mixing video using quinacridone magenta and phthalo blue green shade. Just going to jump in. I am using core watercolors today for this uh, mixing video, and I'm also using B Paper Company's watercolor paper for this swatch out color mix. And let's just get going here. I am using the core watercolors, they are from Golden. I really enjoy working with them. This is the Thalo Blue Green Shade, and this is a single pigment color. Love this color. It's so vibrant and the beautiful thing about the core watercolors is they have their own binder called Aquazol and it is it's like magic. This is quinacridone magenta and this is also a single pigment. And what I really love about these colors is their ability to disperse. They just move and flow where the water goes. And they're just really, really vibrant and a really a joy to work with. So I picked out the phthalo blue and the quinacridone magenta today just to do some fun, super fun color mixing. Now you can see just as I've added water here, how that color is kind of moving. And when I add more water, to the quinacridone magenta, you're gonna see, and just kind of move that color all around, you're gonna see how much that color just really takes the water, and the binder Aquazol just kind of makes that color move. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to swatching out these two colors, and then we're gonna mix them together, but I'm gonna make two pools of color first. So I have a big pool of the phthalo blue, and then I have another pool of the quinacridone magenta. So you can see these colors. Oh, I love quinacridone magenta. I love magenta. I love pink. It's no, no doubt. Most people know I love pink. And this color is so super, super vibrant. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch out the phthalo blue as well. And just between these two colors, we can make some really, really fun colors to work with, especially for flowy florals, which is my favorite thing to paint. Okay, so there's the two colors kind of swatched out at full strength. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my palette with my big puddles of color of my phthalo blue and my quinacridone magenta. And I'm going to start with adding some of the phthalo blue to the quinacridone magenta puddle and then swatch that out and play with that a little bit. So I'm just dabbing in a little bit of that color to the entire puddle, and it's creating this luscious, juicy violet color that is just so much fun, so gorgeous. I love that. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that phthalo blue-green shade to that puddle that I've created, and let's see what we get next. We're gonna get a little bit more blue here, but you've got some of those violet undertones and you're getting another color. I just love that. I just love that you can take two colors from your watercolor palette, play around with the mixes that you've got going, and you can create a whole brand new color to work with. Okay, so let's do the same thing again with the quinacridone magenta, and I'm just kind of putting it in the phthalo blue, and again, seeing what I'm going to get, and I've got a little bit of that color on the tip there, but you can totally see how that a new shade of violet has come about, and it's just so pretty. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit more experimenting, and this time I kind of loaded my brush up with both colors, so you can see some phthalo blue there loaded up alongside of the violets that we had already um, kind of mixed up. So this is really a great and fun way to add a little bit of extra dimension to your projects by just loading up your brush, brush with some of the multiple colors you've got on your palette. So super fun. So just kind of using my brush to create these petals here, and it's got a kind of a unicorn look to it. So I'm really digging this mix between phthalo blue and quinacridone magenta. I hope you enjoyed this really quick color mixing tutorial. 
And thanks so much for joining me. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.